Hey everybody, Melissa here. So today I'm going to show you how to add quick access toolbars in Windows 10 down here. As you can see, I already have several. I have Adobe, which has all of my Creative Cloud apps, Office 365, audio, video, music, and so on. So I'm going to show you how to add two different types of toolbars down here. The first one is going to be just like these. We're going to add LibreOffice. The second one, we're going to do them from URLs, so we're going to add Google Apps. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we want to do when we're adding LibreOffice is we want to find the folder that contains all of our applications. And that's what this is here. If you don't know where this is at in your programs file, you can go to your C drive and you can type in LibreOffice, or you can do like me and you can cheat. You can come to your search, bring up any of them, and go to Open File Location, and that's going to bring you here. The second folder we're going to need is where our toolbars are housed. Now, I did not have a toolbars folder already, and you may not either. So you can just add one on your C drive called toolbars, and that should work. The first thing we want to do inside of our toolbars folder is we want to create a new folder called LibreOffice. If I could type, <laughs> this would go faster. Okay, and we're going to open that folder and it's empty right now. So what we want to do is we want to take our applications from our LibreOffice folder and move them over into our toolbar folder. Now I don't want the safe mode and I don't want the bottom one. I just want base to writer. So I'm going to click on base, shift, click on writer, right click, pull them over, let them go, and I'm going to copy them. And now as you see, there's all of our LibreOffice. Now, if we go down to our toolbar here and we right click, toolbars, new toolbar, and we navigate back to where our toolbars are, which for me is my D drive, toolbars, then I'm going to add LibreOffice and I'm going to tell it to select the folder. And look there there's all of your applications. So now let's talk about Google Apps because it is a little bit different. I'm going to go back up in the directory here and I'm going to go ahead and add a new folder and I'm going to call it Google Apps. And I'm going to go into that folder. Now we're not going to need this one anymore so I'm going to take it down. So now I'm going to pull over my Google and I'm just going to put it here. Okay, so we want to get Docs, Spreadsheet, and Slides. So we're going to go to our Google Apps, and we're going to go down to get Google Docs first. Now we're going to go over to our three dots up here, and then we're going to tell it more tools, and we're going to tell it to create a shortcut. I'm going to leave this unchecked because I want it just to create a shortcut over here and not actually open another session of Google Docs. So let's tell it to create. And there we have our Google Docs shortcut. So let's go get Google Sheets. Go to Sheets. Go to your three bars. More tools. Create shortcut. I sound like I'm singing a song. <laughs> And Google Sheets, leave this unchecked, create. There's our Google Sheets. Now let's go get slides. More tools, create shortcut, unchecked, create. And there is our Google Slides. So now we have Docs, Sheets, and Slides. And I'm going to take this down. So now in our Google Apps folder, we want to select all of these right click, pull them in, and copy them here. And now you have your shortcuts for doc sheets and slides. Now if we go down here, we right click, toolbars, new toolbar, then we're going to tell it Google Apps, and select folder. And look, there's your Google Apps. So let's say you need to go to Google Sheets. It takes you right to Google Sheets as long as you're logged in to your Google account. So now let's say that we want to move these and we want LibreOffice right after Office. So I'm going to tell you, you have to be very careful and you have to go really slow 
or you can end up like me and spend 10 minutes trying to fix these because you've got them all out of order. <laughs> so it can be done, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Thank you, Windows. So let's go ahead and right click on LibreOffice and we're going to drag it to in front of Adobe. Okay, so now Adobe's to your right. Pull it past Adobe, pull it past audio video, and pull it past Office and let it go. And then click anywhere. Now if you notice these are showing, I wouldn't mess with these until you get everything moved that you want to move because it can start shifting stuff around on you. So now let's say we want to move Google Apps behind LibreOffice. Right click on it and hold it. Pull it in front of Adobe. Then Audio Video, Office, LibreOffice, and then drop Google Apps, let it go. Click out of it. Now, as you can see, with the things opened up, just go to your very beginning. And now you have Adobe, Audio Video, Office, LibreOffice, Google Apps, you move them. And that is how you create a quick access toolbar down here for both applications and URLs in Windows 10 and how you re can rearrange them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any suggestions for future content, please leave a comment. And I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.